Hey, Naima here. It is 10 o'clock in the morning on Sunday, May 12th. I am at the Homewood Suites in San Antonio, Texas. Uh, this wasn't the plan, but um, it worked out very nicely. I kind of decided at the last minute to come to try and catch up with my cousin Christopher. I was a little bit out of my way, but not too far. I was on my way to Dallas anyway, which is where his mom and her family and her siblings, a couple of her siblings live. Um, so I got in late last night and Christopher was still at church and stopped by and saw him for a minute and I said, you know what, you know, stay here, I don't want to interrupt, I'm going to go grab a place. And this place is it's a suite with a king bed and everything, it's really nice, um, for like 99 bucks, like, you know, nice. So anyway, i um, going to try and catch up with him and then head to Dallas today, so that's the plan. But, um, so today is Mother's Day. Um, and I want to wish a very special Mother's Day to all the mothers out there, and particularly two. Um, two in particular in my life that have a lot to do with where I'm at. And one is, of course, my own mother, Patrice Tryman. Um, you know, what I'm going through right now is really, really scary. It's exciting, but it's scary. You know, I, um, I had a steady, a steady government job that I got when I was 22. I was 10 years in. I was looking at retirement at 47. And it was my mother's significant other that, you know, suggested that I even take the test. He paid for me to take the test. Uh, you know, being a firefighter really wasn't on my scope. And then when I was sworn in, you know, I don't think anybody was more proud than, than my mom. And as she's always, you know, been very supportive of everything that I've done. And, um, you know, God placed a dream in my heart and, and uh, told me to walk away from that. She gave me a bunch of signs that said, you know, enough is enough. That's what, that's what I, I, I gave you that. I needed you to have that to become who you've become, but now it's time to move on. And uh, I'm sure that, that that's, it's scary for me. I'm, I'm sure it's probably even more scary for my mother. Um, but when I, when I told her, you know, she, um, she did what she always does. You know, she supported me. So, uh, happy Mother's Day to you, Mom. Uh, I appreciate everything that you've done and all the support that you've given me. Uh, the other person I want to give a very special Mother's Day w uh, wish to is Marisol Dennis. Um, about a year and a half ago, I went to... Marisol and I, obviously, well, we, go very, we go way back. But in particular, as far as my journey, um, about a year and a half ago, I took a trip to San Francisco, and I, I got a lot of signs and signals that it was time to changed my life and it was time to move to Cal I needed to move to California and I came back and I was shaken from all the signs that I got I mean they were really they were glaring and they were scary and they were you know they, they were not to be mistaken and um, Marisol is a confidant for me and I came back and I talked to her and I was you know I was shaking with anxiety and one thing I knew was I, I felt I was getting these signs that said you know you're, I was in the counseling program to be a, a counselor and um, all the signs were telling me, no, sell your book, tell your story, help people, reach out, you know, you know you're know, you more of a speaker than a listener. And um, I came back and I told her, I said, I got to go, I got to get out of here, I don't want to be here anymore, but I don't know how to do it. And she said, you know, I think I have a way. And um, that way was the Empower Network, and I wasn't quite ready, I still had a lot of growing to do. I'm not the same person I was a year and a half ago or even a year ago. Uh, I grow and, and morph, you know, constantly and rapidly. It's a really exciting period in my life. And, um, you know, I wasn't ready for it then. I'm ready for it now as I step out on faith. And uh, I believe that, you know, using the, uh, the Empower Network and Internet Marketing is going to, you know, be the vehicle that I use to achieve the dreams that I am pursuing. Because this isn't about money. This is about, and it's obviously not about security. It's about passion. And um, that's what this journey is about. So I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to try and catch my cousin Chris before he starts his church service. And then I'm on my way to Dallas. All right. We'll see you a little bit down the road. Peace.